Petra, congratulations. It's the first time you're in the quarters here since 2012. How does that feel? And did it feel that it's been this long since you've had a good run here? Yeah, actually it doesn't feel that long, but uh, yeah, when I... I'm counting the, the years, it's pretty long, but you know, uh, sometimes the, uh, the waiting time is worth for it, which it is, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I could be in the quarterfinals again after a while, so it's, for sure it's, it's great, I'm not complaining at all. So what's been different this time then, Petra, why is it working um, for you here? You know, I think I had a kind of great beginning of the year, um, I think I... Uh, reached some confidence in, in Sydney when I played great matches from the beginning of the tournament. I really had to fight in the final, which obviously it's it's a great to have it before the Grand Slam to know that you still can come back even if you lost the first set or you didn't play well. So uh, that's I think it's gave me a lot um, since this tournament beginning. I think I played what I what I really needed. Um, I'm serving very well and I'm moving well as well. So that's, you know, sometimes when I'm nervous, I'm quite tired and nothing really working. But this time I, I feel good and I'm really enjoying it to be on the course. So probably that's why. <laughs> what was the difference, the main difference between when you played her in Indian Wells and when you played her today? Was it experience or confidence or fitness or just the arena? Um, I think it was kind of different time when I played in Indian Wells. I was very tired from the winning street. I played lots of matches. Uh, the surface there is a bit slower. I was uh, bouncing pretty high. Um, but obviously I didn't feel physically and mentally that well as I did today. Uh, actually, I, I know what she's playing this time as well. So um, it was kind of different preparation or my mindset, which I knew that uh, she's going to play very aggressive from the beginning. And uh, that's what I needed to do first of, of us. And uh, I think I did well this time this. Petra, you, you look or you seem even fitter, f fitter now than you've Thank ever you. been. Thank <laughs> well, um, you. But uh, did you do anything different in the off-season? What's, um, what's brought that about? Uh, I don't think I did anything specific different, differently. I think I did kind of the same as the off-season before, but just I think the amount of, of the practices, of the amount of the weights of the running was just a little bit more than it was before. I think it's a long time process when you know we are still trying to get fitter and fitter and when you are fitter then you want to be fitter again so it was kind of this this time of of the off season that I could still be more fitter but it wasn't it wasn't like something really really different. Uh, we in America know Amanda's just 17 but we're very curious about her future. What are your thoughts on on her future, her upside, uh, and just how, how far she can go. Well, being playing like, like her when she's 17 is something really special, for sure. Um, I think that in this kind of age to, to reach the second week of the Grand Slam is something really great, and um, that's something what she can build on. Um, she's playing very aggressive, which is, I think, the future of the tennis as well. So she, I think that she, she has everything to, to be great in the, in the future of the women's tennis. But, uh, I'd like to ask you about your potential opponents separately. If we talk about Maria first, uh, um, it's been a while for her since she's had a very deep run in Islam. I'm just wondering how do you see where she is at the moment? Yeah, I, I know that, uh, you know, when uh, since she came back, it's, it's a bit struggling, but I always see her like playing well in the Grand Slams. Um, and uh, that's what she's showing this time here as well. She's she's champion, doesn't matter what. So I think uh, she likes to play this kind of big tournaments, big stadiums, big players. And uh, um, it will be a great one anyway. If I'm going to play her, it will be something really special for me, facing Maria again after a while as well. So um, it will be interesting match. And uh, yeah, I'm always looking forward for this kind of matches. Ash, you just played her and also yeah, in Australia. I'm just wondering how unique do you yeah. think that situation would be and how different maybe that it's a Saslam? Um, it will be different for sure. Uh, it, will, it will be not the final as we played in Sydney, which was a great match, very exhausted. Uh, but um, 
she is a different kind of player when she is mixing it up a bit. She is playing different serve as well. She has a kick. Um, it's just different uh, kind of player than I face today, for example. So, uh, but it will be f fun one. I mean. Australians, of course, will be on her side, but um, that was the same in Sydney, so I'm, you know, kind of too used to. <laughs> um, Petra, I think last time in the semi finals here uh, against Maria, you had a shot at the number one ranking in that match and lost a very tight three setter. Do you yeah, remember I do much remember, of that match? Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what I can say, nothing. I, I think this loss was like the, one of the most painful in my tennis career, which uh, it's not really something which I wanted to repeat for sure. I don't think that, you know, the past can repeat um, very similarly. So um doesn't matter what happened that year. I'm just here and playing and enjoying and that's important. Petra, you, I don't know what the numbers are, but you seem to play a lot of matches at 11 o'clock in the morning at Grand Slams. Well, I play some 90 matches as well here. Yeah, I know. But uh, <laughs> do, you, do, you make, do you request ever to play early? Do you like playing that first match? Sometimes I do request, but I didn't do it this time. So, um, obviously, like, since Sydney, I played, like, later matches but not this time. So uh, I need to say that like before my match, I had a quick nap, like five minutes in, by the physio room. And uh, um, yeah, it was kind of weird to wake up, w wake up at 10.30 uh, to, to be ready in half an hour for my match. But sometimes it's really important since I'm playing so many matches, I just need the rest and every nap it's very welcoming. So. Are you playing that first match sometimes? sometimes? Um, yeah, I do. Sometimes I really do. Normally I'm making up pretty early, so um, it's nothing really bothering me to play the first match. You, you've won Grand Slam tennis tournaments twice at the same place, obviously, but you must know, you must get a feeling, having experienced it, how your tournament is sort of un unfurling as you go. Do you have the kind of feeling now that you've had when you've won a Grand Slam title? Um, actually, it's been a while as well. Um, need to think. Um, not really, actually, to be honest. I think it's a I'm kind of different person as well, and I do have different mindset um, than I than I had those. Uh, those years when I won, um, I'm just here to play every match for 100 percent, and doesn't matter what's what's happened. I'm just here to enjoy the tennis, which I'm really, um, I think, doing it pretty nicely, and uh, that's really important not to be really stressed about it. And um, yeah, I think it's it's great to be in a quarterfinal, but I know how difficult it is to to win a Grand Slam, so I'm not really thinking about it. You mentioned your fitness before. Um, do you feel this is the best shape that you've ever been in? It's your opinion, or oh, no, you you're asking me? <laughs> your, your, your opinion. You mentioned your, your fitness. Um, um, yeah. Well, um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, I work pretty hard on it, um, and then everything is a little bit easier, of course, with the tennis as well, with the shots. But um, you know, it's as I said, it's a long life uh, process to be still fitter and fitter and I'm feeling great that's important I'm not injured at all uh, which is uh, the best I can have and uh, yeah I feel great Petra, if you look at the players left in the draw it's all very experienced players very like that's the, true. Yeah. yeah how does it feel does it somehow take away some pressure off knowing that you know, it's not all eyes on you. There's literally 16 players in the fourth round who could have yeah. who could win this title. You know, how does it feel? I think I mean, didn't really have it for for a long time to have a, such a uh, great prize in the deeper in the tournament. So it's something very nice. I think um, I'm, I'm happy I'm one of them. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's like taking some pressure off, but. Uh, well, I saw, I, I was facing um, Amanda today and uh, she was not really in this kind of experience uh, player and uh, I think I kind of felt it inside as well that, you know, you I should win, um, kind of. So, well, maybe, yeah, but on the other hand, we are all know how 
how tough it is and how the opponents are very uh, dangerous and with the experience, as we said. So it's about a few points and about really focusing on every point.